Hello everyone, you're with a new video from How to Windows. Today we're going to find out a solution to a problem with a Windows. A lot of people have been asking Microsoft to give that feature for years. But they haven't able to give it yet, even in Windows 11. You know opening and working with few folders at once in Windows is a headache. You see even with just four folders it's a big mess. It's because Windows open every folder in a new window. If we can open them in tabs in the same window just like a web browser, it will be very easy. So that's what we're gonna do today with a third-party software, but it blends with a Windows really well. It's packed with a lot of features. I'm gonna explain how to use some of them that I think useful for you. So don't just download the software and close the video. I invite you to watch it till the end. And guys don't forget to subscribe my channel and give a thumbs up for the video. Okay, let's download the software. It's called Qt Tab Bar. Just search it on Google. Go to the first result. And download the latest version by clicking here. It's only 3 megabytes. Open it and install it. Actually, I already installed it to the computer. Okay, anyway after you install it, you have to activate it. For that open the file explorer then go to the view tab. Here, under the options menu, you'll see there are several new options have popped up. Choose Qt tab bar. I don't think these other options are much valuable. So I'm not going to talk about them. Okay. After that, you can see here file explorer has got a new tab bar. The best thing is this software works on the Windows file explorer as an add-in or an extension, and it's not a separate software. Okay. Let's see how to open a new tab. The first method is dragging and dropping the folder you want to open to the tab bar like this. You see now I have two tabs in the same window. The second method is right clicking on the folder and choose open a new tab. Same as before it opened in a new tab. Now I have three tabs. You can click on this little icon of the tab and then you get the list of subfolders in that folder. You can click on them to directly open them in the same tab. Or also you can open files directly from there. If you want to open a folder in a new window there's an option for that also in the right click menu. You can open tabs in that window too. This software has another great feature called groups. Think you want to open the same set of 10 folders every day, now you can add them all to a one group and open instantly with a one click. You can add them manually from this browsing window if you like. Or you can just open them all and add them all to a group like I'm doing now. Let me close these folders. Right click on the tab bar in the group submenu, click your group name. You get all the folders opened in no time. Ok. Let's see what are the other things we can do with this software. You can open recent files here. And from this, you can close all tabs except the tab you're working on. Also, you can reopen closed tabs if you accidentally did it. Dot this another option. Right click on a tab and click lock. Then it can't be closed unless we unlock it in the same way. In this software, you can't open the same folder twice in the normal way. If you want to do that you can right click and choose the clone option. It makes an extra tab of the same folder. And another important thing we definitely want to do is copying files among tabs. To do that drag the file you want to copy to the tab of the folder you're going to copy it. Now press the control button and drop the file there. If you want to move a file, do the same procedure, but don't press the control button. Also, you can rename folders from the menu directly. There's a lot of keyboard shortcuts to ease all of those features. If you want to know them open this window from the right click menu. You can see all the keyboard shortcuts there. Ok, this is a great one. Press Ctrl plus tab to go through open tabs one by one. It's really nice. Here there's an option to order your open tabs in alphabetical order or according to the path. Ok, this software lets us customize most of the options of it. If you go to Qt tab bar options in the right click menu, you get all the options to customize it. 
From history section, you can choose what things it should save for you. This is where you find the history. If you're a secret person like me just remove all the ticks here. Navigate through them and find what you want. You can add numbers to tabs like this if you want. You can go through tabs by mouse wheel. There's a whole pack of options here. I don't have time to explain them all to you. You can find them easily with a little effort. So that's all for today. Subscribe the channel and like the video. Put a comment in the comment section. I really appreciate that. So thank you for watching.